Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is AJ Lees and today I'm going to be teaching you some um voxel brush or voxel sniper um, tools, tips, tricks. This is the first one, this is all going to be all about the brush. Um, the ball brush. Oh, I can't say that very well. But um, first, if you've never used voxel stone before, good habit. Whenever you want to start something, do um, forward slash D, that'll reset all the values in it. So f And that'll set it to um, sniping. So right clicking with the arrow will pretty much pull out any block. So first thing what we're going to do, we're going to use B forward slash B. Now that brings up a ball. The default, it's air. The default is air. And the radius is 1, 2, 3. So B equals 3 is what it currently is set at. To change the radius, just change the number. So if we want a bigger circle, a smaller circle, B equals 2. If we want a bigger circle, we can do B equals 4. Okay, now um, what I'm going to show you now is how to change what it is. So at the moment, it's just creating air. So what we want to do is set it so B, V, V edits what our voxel is. 24 is, oops, sorry. V24 is sandstone. So that'll place that there, which is cool. So some uses of this tool. Let's go B equals 15. We can create some nice. Come on. Uh, there we go. There's a nice big circle for us. Um, now let, what can we do now? Let's change our brush back to some air. Let's change back to air. Air is zero. V equals what we're we gonna make it. Um, I don't know. Let's make it. Oh, let's make it air again. I'm um, sorry. B. Let's make this two. And let's come in from here. And I can make myself a nice little pathway through this block. There you go, we're already creating a puzzle map. See? And out the other side we go. Now one thing that um, I really recommend you learning about is the voxel replace ability. And what this is, um, it pretty much means that whatever you do, it only replaces one specific block type. So this is particularly useful if you've got a bedrock. Um, say you're working in an enclosed space and you just want to work inside some bedrock, right? Like this, make a nice little bedrock chamber. If we were to, um, let's say, turn the voxel back to this. If we were to do that, oops, U undoes the last thing. But see there, it's gotten rid of the bedrock and if you're making a a che um, I'm sorry, a um, adventure map or whatever, you want you don't want to show the bedrock. So we'll do undo to undo that. And then the first thing, um, we've got to change the um, performer. So B, B, that's the ball, M, M. So that'll change it to replace. So if you see here on the screen, um, we're going to replace air with sandstone. So the only thing it'll affect is air. So if you look here, it's keeping the bedrock. So there you go. So you can fill in, fill it in without having to worry about getting rid of your bedrock. So there you go. That's that's tip trick episode one of showing you how to use voxel brushes. One other quick tip: um, if you want to undo things, you is all the undo. If you want to undo the last three things, undo two. Nice and simple. Thanks for watching.